Hello guys, this is Lil GD Sun here. Welcome back to welcome back to this game, which is still I forgot the name of, but it's fine. Um, welcome to part two. Let's um, let's get in here. One second. This is definitely very awful. <coughs> this is difficult, very difficult. I'm not all uh, confident with this. I keep reminding myself why while I'm doing this. Spend the, spend the night. Okay, okay. Oh, no, so guys, spend the whole night at the mansion and leave at 6 a.m. Easier said than done. I try to play it cool, but. I can't, but I can't, but I can't ignore the pig standing raise in my belly. The front entrance wasn't locked, so I stepped inside the silence, <coughs> silence, obvious and unruly. With my flashlight in hand, I looked around the house to see what what is really like inside the house I felt like I'm walking into a horror movie I figured out that someone was about to play a prank on me so I stayed still and waited for someone to pop out of nowhere <laughs> there's a window just behind me the the, the condition or light transports so some light can come through the next movement that I turned to look over the living room, I heard a crashing sound. Who was it? Who would it be? Who could? Who could it be? I'm just all overreacting. Did I hear it right? So many questions flowed, flowed my mind. <coughs> ha ha ha. And I'm just getting too paranoid and jumpy. Crap. I need to find a place to crash for the night. I walk deeper into the house. I heard upstairs. I head upstairs to find a room. I must have. I must have door. Quentin get in front of the door. The door. I wondered if I should turn around and go back. For the fearing and the forever wasn't there, I demanded to hold the door, twist it, and pull it slowly. The door opened to hold in terms of use my flashlight to look around. There wasn't really any different in room. I stepped back into the room to get a better look. With my flashlight while using my shirt to cover my nose from the stench. And in the very corner of the room, I saw her. It was a girl. Her back was towards me as she stood facing the corner of the room. Her short, her, sh her short hair was shaded of purple and stood still. I started to stare at her for a minute, not sure what to say. I I, I didn't know what to do. I ran out of uh, out of words to say, or maybe the best way to do this is to get room and leave the girl alone. But before I could make another step, the girl spoke. Hey, relief, what? What over me, like rain. And I heard the vo voice. Hi, who are you? My name is Yang. What? What? Why are you here? What are you, what are you doing here? Maybe the same reason why you're here. So, so you're here for the thing too? Hmm. 
Yes, that's the reason why I came here. Okay, so I end up I end up here. Oh, for God's sakes! Hey, are you all right? One second. Hey, are you all right? They inspect. Expect someone will be here. I thought I would be alone in this in, in this house. In this house. Well, I'll try not to bother you then. Bother you then. No, no, that's not what I meant. I'm happy to have company. Same here, this place gives me the creeps. <coughs> Why are you hanging out in this room? I mean, it's a little odd. We don't have plans to explore the house or something. Not, not all. I'm too much of a scaredy cat to go around this house. I see, if you don't mind me asking, why are you let yourself into this craziness? Vice... No, the, the, the events, I'm not certain. Eh? Um, promise me that everything will be in my favor after tonight. Don't you, don't you get... Did you, did you get blackmailed in, into going through with this? I want to know more about you all have actually no. What's your story? Everything has a everyone has a story. Some are good, some are bad. Care to share all hell? Let's just say I'm not too social. I'm average. Nothing no worthy. I beg to disagree. Uh, I believe everyone is so so in their own ways. Talking about me, me, my, my boy, just a little bit okay. No fuss. I have, I have nothing more than I, I didn't mean like that. My name is, by the way, I don't have any friends. People think I'm such, I'm such. I'm so, I'm some kind of freak. So, um, um, I get bullied a lot. People love um, ruining my day whenever they get the chance. <clears throat> People can be mean sometimes. Jesus, this charger. Mean sometimes. When you don't fit in, I guess people like to pick on you. And I never felt too fit, felt in too because me and my dad move a lot. Is that why you're joining us? No. Nothing is going to change anymore. I got used to it. Doesn't bother me much. Cheer up. We've got the whole night to ahead of us. Yeah, so what do we so what do we do? Let's click what you do around here. It's too dark and this is really huge house. How should we go out and seek? Let me tell you this. What kind of 18 year old then? Her Plan and seek in a big house like this, boy. If you don't know that's a that there's spirits in this goddamn house, <laughs> well, might what? Oh no, no, we might get lost or something. It would be the best way if we can stay here. Let's just imagine this is not our weird summery party. You seem you seem to be afraid of a lot. Of things in this house. What are you most afraid of? Nothing in 
in particular, but I guess I could say that I'm afraid of the dark. And yet I found, and yet I found you here in the dark, all, all by yourself. And you afraid of the dark? No, not even is afraid of the dark. Yeah, and some people are afraid of the lights. I guess anyone can be afraid of anything. What do you mean? If it's something you can understand or explain, that's a good chance you'll fear it. People fear what they what they don't understand. In that case, everyone can overcome their fears too, in darkness or death, if they understand them. As for me, well, I did plan to learn it, but now I can't. Why don't you want to raise the well, that's a good reason, but the truth is, well, I just can't. Oh, uh, okay. I'm really going to take a look around. Would that be alright? That's the last thing I want to do right now. That's the last thing I want, I want to do right now. Do you really want to go? Are you sure? Yeah, I've always been curious about this place. I've got a bad feeling about this. Loosen up, it's gonna be alright. You don't have to, you don't have to come with me. No, there's something in in here you don't want to meet. What is it? I don't think you'll believe me what I'm going to tell you. Not likely. Truth is I don't believe in ghosts or spirits and the like, but if I see one well, I'll change my mind. It's not a ghost, it's something else. Nothing in this world. What is it then? Some kind of... Okay. That sounds ridiculous. I'm not buying it. What else have you heard about this house? Well, I'm telling you, it's real. You may, f you may have felt it already. It can change your wall walls moving. I did feel it something like that earlier. Well what else have you heard about it? You you did. Uh so that's why anyone I read I first read about articles on the on the groups who tried to explore this place. The groups what happened to them. Some people died here. Auto pumps couldn't couldn't define the cause. It was like their brains just shut off. Others reported feeling the walls and walls moving, nausea, dizziness, headaches, but what but went home and um, tenderly. <coughs> Those that did go home, however, never had a good night's rest again. Their sleep was always Interrupted by what? Then there's a thing that comes into people's houses and does and does what? Oh God, this is insane! Nothing, nothing. Just watches you accordingly. They wake up accordingly. They wake up and see it there. Ha! Huh, huh. Now that's creepy. Anything else? The stories don't say, it's just it just watches. But they say that actually the worst part. Imagining wake up and finding it there, and you know that it's been watching you. The feeling that you were the feeling that you were never alone never leaves you. That is something that you can you can't avoid. Sounds scary, but people have always told stories like that. <clears throat> yeah. So, I wonder where, where they got this from. You know. You know what? Forget it. Forget what? Your rights. Right about what? It's right about not trying to explore this place. And what made you change your mind? A lot, really. I'm not talking, I'm taking any chances. 
admit it. You guys scared because of my story. Somehow, not everyone has a brave heart after all. Besides, this house is very old. We might fall or slip into a hole or something. Good to hear that. I'm just glad you changed your mind. The best thing is to do is try to catch some sleep. We still got classes tomorrow. I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, unlike you don't work. Unlike you don't work well with your lack of sleep. Alright, let's snooze. <coughs> it's hard to sleep knowing that got us into the, this mess. Such an uncomfortable, spoiled brat. It would be the best not to talk about her. Let's get some rest. We'll be out of here any anytime soon. They better make sure that after tonight they won't be bothering me again anymore. Let's call it a night. I think I saw a sweet looking bed in the, in the room next to this one. Or, or, and you said you didn't have no friends, right? Yep. Can I, mmm, can I be your friend? Sure. <laughs> On you. You're done. You've done it. How many did you send in there? Just one. My name is Band. Just one. Do you, do you understand how important this is? That thing is in the house. Do you see? I know. I've sent in two girls this week. I'm trying my best. I'm sorry. Perhaps next week I'll. Nonsense. Needs more data. Send send more people in or pull the plug on your <laughs> aunt. I know you taught me never to ask questions about what we do here, but why exactly do you need more? When your uncle visited the place, gave him a gift of sorts in his head. You want to know why your uncle received that, and if that. Visitors. Also, that can be active, active in the front of the power of the Oh my god, it's not a words, man. Can we copy? Can we copy, delete, and move lines as easy as making files, images, this power we can use? Yeah, um. I always guys read the rest. Cause this is like this these words are just so much work, man. Sadly though. <coughs> yeah, I'm also guys read this. I'll talk I'll talk in the last one. Chapter Oh my fucking god. How? How is this? There's no ads. Oh my bad. God damn it. Me and found an old bed to sleep on. It was much bigger and more com comfortable than the one in the other one. Unfortunately, the soonest I tried to lay down, I felt the walls caving in and I felt myself into a bad dream. I woke up in a nightmare. My heart was pounding, humming like it. I was going to burst out. I was going to burst out with my chest. I never felt my heart pounding so loud before. My dream, in my dream, I saw a dim light shining in the hall through a light where no one, <coughs> no other rooms. I made my way down the hall, stopping at the second room on the left. Inside a teenage girl that was about my age, so the crying by a dim fireplace. Who who are you? I asked. I'm sad. Hmm. Turn me into to the face of me. I didn't recognize who I was talking to. I just heard of her. She was in a dark corner of the room, but I knew it was a girl. I noticed that it was the same fireplace I saw when I entered. Dead end mansion, mansion. 
In my dream, I felt I felt real, like it was there that I remember actually. Why? Why? What's wrong? I asked. I remember that I didn't exist anymore. What are you saying? What do you mean? We don't exist. I'm sorry, but I don't understand. I confusingly said. I couldn't felt the air getting cold again. The <clears throat> moment the girl responded, I died a week ago on the night, not much different from the night you entered this house. I was once like you, gullible, adventurous, and full of life. One day it was non-moon break at school cafeteria. I was playing some games on my phone. A group of mean girls came over and talked to me. They asked if I wanted to be a part of the group. First she said, said, said that all I had to do was pass one, one test like a deer. I just wanted to spend the whole night in the the famous mansion located a few blocks away from the school campus. Being a new girl in the school and career nerd and a teenage, I was trying to join because I needed friends. I needed to feel like that some that somehow I belonged, I wanted more than anybody to have company my friends. And just like that I said yes to. I didn't know what got into me that, that moment. Maybe I just was so lonely. I was lonely and foolish. It was the worst decision of my life. I shouldn't have fallen for those trick, <coughs> tricks. Oh my God! What, what have you, have they done to you? The day I felt the tears slowly falling down my face. I can't imagine what terrible or bad luck this girl got into. I felt sorry for her. I entered this house. It was. My, my last mistake. I was about to get up on my knees to leave, but I suppressed something scared the crap out of me. <coughs> I couldn't explain what it was, but it was stalking me. And in that moment, I stood, I stood still. I felt my body turn cold and my mind froze. I couldn't move my heart. I couldn't move my heart, it was beating faster than the usual. The breaths because to swallow and heavy, and my head started to feel light. Suddenly, I felt, I felt a sharp pain in my chest. Then I saw a grim start to see. I felt the floor and everything went black. I saw myself laying on the floor. I couldn't explain the feeling. Helpless, lifeless. Two days later, took some of my brain tissues, then burned it and burned my body to cover up what they what they did. Doing my lifeless body into the fireplace, leaving me back on the worthless piece of meat. I want I want justice for what happened to me. I want to I want you to help me, please. I'm not that, that you are here in this house. You can see me. You can speak to me. I have no idea how it's possible, but you can. You have to help me. I want justice. I'm kind of my new friend. I have. Faith in you. I know you're 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 feeling me no matter what it takes. You, you have to stop her before she does this again. She looked at me with a pale eyes for a while. She fades. She was doing just like the wind. Confused. Is it really just a dream? This real. Ask myself. <laughs> My eyes begin to wander the entire room. Number one, I slide the outside. 
standing is the dress beside me. I sighed with a heavy heart. I was dreaming with pain, so that's his why I felt real lost. Now I know the truth, she has justice. And God forth when his tongue touches my face. Sure, I moved down the news. I found it in my job. No more work. Huh, I must have felt that for squirrel. That's good. <coughs>
I'll stop here. I'll stop here. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> and comment down below what game should I play next after this series is over. This is Jason. I am out.